And let's see what's going on. We do have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles. One is you, one is the person you are dealing with, looks like. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and they might be at the distance, but this is also uh, Virgo, the energy of being overwhelmed with emotions, being in isolation, a little bit sad about what happened at the distance, longing for somebody, wanting, right? Um, Queen of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, they give us headaches. That is the energy, they give us headaches. <laughs> I know, and Tylenol is not always the solution, right? Sometimes a good conversation is like good medicine, but hey. Nine of Swords, Seven of Wands in reverse. We might have been blocked, uh, rejected. This is the energy of I need time, I need space. And we are very emotional about, um, I don't know why I hear scared, but, but um, and frustrated. Oh, good, you know, because it's, we have cups and it's like, oh, I feel sad, but sometimes it's okay to feel frustrated. We do have the nine of swords and the strength in reverse. This is, I'm not going to be on my best behavior. I'm so going to react to everything and I'm so going to be pissed, you know, <laughs> kind of energy. I know, nothing to laugh about, but when I see a little bit, it's like, okay, that's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be really upset and, and sometimes say big words and stuff, so... And hell yeah, we deserve to say we have um, reasons because we do have the Seven of Swords <laughs> and we have the Strength in Reverse, Virgo. For some of you, might be a Leo, um, you know, and we are so frustrated um, because they've messed up. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords in Reverse. This is a revelation of, um, of cheating, lying and deceiving of somebody not keeping it in their pants because also the Strength is the last card but last is kept under control because our um you know animal instinct we kind of right we live in a civilized world we have rules we have ways to do things and um you know um they might have uh, been a little bit more on a pleasure side um again it's uncontrolled lust and um sexuality so they might have been in the party mode and um, and we might have found out actually seven of swords in reverse is a revelation of a of a deceit of some sort anyways past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual it doesn't have to be sexuality simply uh, poor behavior um, because uh, strength upright is all about uh, best behavior it's all about following the rules and and being the best version of themselves in reverse, it's like, you know, um, kind of a disappointment. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck judgment. Hell yeah, right? Um, well, it is uh, decision time, I guess, for go. We do have the, the tower in reverse. If it comes back again, we know it's yours. But I'm more sensing that we are at crossroads. Judgment actually is that decision day, right? When we say, I'm going to close that door forever and I'm going to open a new one for me. Or it's uh, going back and closing your eyes and um, accepting um, unacceptable behavior you know for some of you that is a decision time here um, and it's really crossroads the judgment is um, once we make a decision you cannot go back right judgment is now or never it's the cornerstone of a situation it's it's um, you know happening now and it's now decision time now we're going the past to you on your side with this person. We do have the Emperor in reverse, um, Aries energy and the Ace of Wands. Might have been, it feels like a long distance uh, relationship or somebody at a distance. They show up in reverse and we were so passionate and so attracted to them. Ace of Wands. Um, it's kind of they uh, brought in your life a form of spark and it was so strong and so important. And so like, wow, right? And, and the world of sensuality. And, um, and it's like, you know, when, um, when good things um, happen out of nowhere and that is like a, a, you know, very flashy in some way. 
this is how it feels, right? And um, of course we have the emperor in reverse. We know how this goes. It's all about, of course, can be distance. I'm sensing in this case is distance, but we also have the seven of swords and the strength in reverse. Emperor is a form of manipulation in reverse. Some abuse of uh, power, abuse of whatever they had over you, leverage and stuff. Um, but no matter what, we were simply attracted. Tons of chemistry and tons of lust in, in this connection in particular. Now this person of yours, they have the sun and again you have strength and sun and we had the strength through shuffling. So maybe a Leo you are dealing with, but we do have the sun and the five of cups in reverse, I would say. That energy is the energy of Virgo made me happy, right? The sun, uh, you brought some form of enlightenment in their life, some form of spirituality, some truth, some awakening of some sort. But also they were in a very um, bad place. Five of Cups is, um, you know, mourning um, a loss of some sort. Um, the way they, relate, they related to the past, it was a, a different um, energy. And you brought happiness to them, right? And you made them see things and you made them evolve in some way. It is again enlightenment, the energy of enlightenment and the energy of happiness. So if you ever were wondering, not only you kind of healed them because the sun has a very healing energy, but also you made them um, reconcile with the past and close the door of some sort. Now mutual energy is between you and this person. Uh, we do have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. Again, this energy of a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they were a piece of work. Uh, Two of Pentacles is really you struggling to keep this in balance. Again, uh, th that is an indication, a strong indication of a long distance connection, commitment. And maybe the distance was difficult to handle. You tried your best and they tried their best too with the Two of Pentacles. Same level of effort. It was tough on you, tough on them. Maybe somebody got also a little bit uh, less passionate or it was it became difficult, you know, to handle all this. Again, Queen of Wands in reverse. At some point, somebody was dragging their feet or they were a little bit less involved, less uh, present, right? In terms of uh, energetically speaking. And yeah, and if you ask them, they would say, oh, hell yeah, Virgo was a piece of work, you know, because we, you, you, you have the same energy of struggling and fighting to keep this up and running. Um, Virgo, where are we right now? We are in the Four of Swords, probably not talking to this person, ghosted, you ghosted them, they ghosted you, the energy of breakup and the Two of Wands in reverse, kind of difficult to let go, okay? Um, difficult to turn your back to of once in reverse is like, no, I am at crossroads, but I'm not choosing a path just yet. Well, you better do it soon because the universe says that is judgment. If you don't decide, I will, you know, that's um, kind of how it feels, the energy that I'm, we are picking up. So you better do something about and you don't turn your back, but the universe will say, you know, uh, you'll have to. Now Virgo, of course, we are disappointed with this person of yours. They have the magician in reverse, the energy of manipulation, pulling tricks, lying, cheating, deceiving, looking after their best interests. And we also have the king of swords in reverse, the energy of unfairness, unjust, poor communication, bad, harsh communication, swords in reverse, they hurt. Always remember <laughs> when you do your own readings or stuff, every time you see swords in reverse, when they are up in the air, they are a symbol of communication, of wits and smarts, of really focusing on ideas and, um, you know, um, the best reasoning and reasoning process in reverse, it cuts and it uh, bruises and it, uh, um, it um, leaves marks on, uh, on skin and body and consciousness and everything. So they are in a bad spot terribly bad spot and I would not cross their ways um, their way uh, for go with this energy I mean let's protect ourselves a bit um, because they this is the energy of somebody who um, might be able to hurt because they are hurt you know that is this um, and we have people in our lives and no judgment there you know when the frustration is too big um, and they want to um, kind of empty out that kind of energy and be at peace again they need right to 
um, make other people react or hurt other people and that that is uh, the signal that they can calm down now you know which is kind of um, sad but it's uh, part of life so just saying they are in low vibe mutual energies between the two of you page of swords and we do have the chariot in reverse cancer energy we don't have a lot of movement right we don't have a lot of movement but we absolutely have um the thinking right page of swords you think about it they think about it is this energy of trying to be smart trying to be wise uh probably stalking um and trying to have communication even in a stuck situation of some sort but i would say the mind is restless for both of you and um while the body is inactive right the chariot in reverse is nothing is moving stagnant i'm not seeing them running in the opposite direction i'm not seeing you on the contrary but this time it um at this time both of you you are thinking and um being in an expectation kind of mode um looking at the future trying to gain perspective i don't think it's about distance but it, it doesn't feel anyways like distance it feels like let, let me be smart about it um right now you know let me be smart their smart is a little bit manipulative smart so i have some food for thought some cautious for uh, um some um awareness i would i want to say um being cautious about what's going on Moving forward, we do have the Three of Wands and the Page of Wands. Of course, we wait for the spark, for the new beginning, for the passion. Um, whatever your um, Three of Wands is the energy of expectation. So you can expect actually a moment of um, fire in your belly. Doesn't mean with this person. Page of Wands, it is a new beginning. Page of Wands is a new spark, a new fire in your belly, a new everything. Um, and you are entitled to. Virgo. Three of Wands is the energy of you've invested in it. Ships are coming and it's, and it's just a matter of when. Okay. I love the energy coming your way because we have you stuck, right? Four of Swords, the Chariot in Reverse is not a lot of movement and that is this energy of confinement, right? The Chariot in Reverse is like, um, you know, having a car who's not functioning and we desperately need to get someplace, you know, that's it, the feeling. And Four of Swords is confined in a room where we cannot go and we have no entertainment, so we stay still, you know, and we face our, our mind. Now, this person of yours, again, the energy of being stuck, the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Cups. This person, honestly, um they are not helping the universe and the universe doesn't help them you know because right now it's very manipulative very unfair kind of energy and they move into the energy of being stuck because they don't allow the flow of energies they don't work with the universe looks like they might be working against it at least you know the wheel of fortune in reverse is going against the flow and um the four of cups they are so not paying attention. This is like somebody not walking the earth and not being aware of whatever is going on. And because of it, having all kinds of entanglement of energies, right? Because they are so unfocused. And, um, you know, because we sometimes we fight the good fight and sometimes we fight fights that we have no uh, reason fighting. So this is kind of how it feels for them. Mutual energy is between the two of you, the Hermit in reverse, this is you and the Ace of Wands. You are the one to have a new beginning, Virgo. You are Page of Wands, Ace of Wands. Um, this is fire in your belly. Um, this is what's coming your way, being passionate again, having new beginnings. And because we have the judgment as the overall energy, this is all about a decision to be passionate again. This is a decision to let go of whatever seven of swords strength in reverse is happening or this person brought into your life and the judgment is i mean you with the ace of wands and the page of wands right embodying the energy of fire embodying in the energy of, of hobbies of uh, pleasures of um entertainment ones right um being social again a little bit like the queen of wands a little bit of a of a social bumblebee and just um leave the fire inside of you um 
completely uh, this person a completely different energy it's not something you we want to dwell in their energy actually now that you see it right we have seven of swords and all kinds of magician in reverse manipulation emotions uh, going against the flow not seeing not paying attention it's like no thank you you know <laughs> no thank you um, and I'm sensing the minute you make that judgment call because it is it is now actually um, I'm seeing in the current energy four of swords and the chariot stuck 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 and it's like no you know um, a judgment call and and now it's the time I'm not seeing love Virgo um, either in this um, in this energy uh, but I'm seeing two people coming from two different places, from two different vibrations. Um, and I'm sensing more on your side. You have Ace of Wands in the past. And we have Ace of Wands coming your way as mutual energies. And the Page of Wands, right? I'm seeing fire. And I'm seeing that what will break this cycle or this um, chapter, something that we need to end, is you choosing to be passionate again. You are the one actually to make the, the that um, judgment call and uh, take that step. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do over here, what we are guided to do. We have yin and yang. Yeah, there was a time they completed you, you completed them. It's the energy of balance. Um, it's the energy of you made them whole, they made you at some point, right? Um, and we need balance again when we need completion and we we need this um, harmony right between souls we do have self-respect um, for go and I so believe this is a reminder for some of you actually uh, you know use your judgment look at the situation judging is also revising right uh, reviewing revising and, and going through whatever happened and um, and that is a reminder, actually, right? As we um, look at the past, you know, some um, some self-respect that was actually shattered in some way. So we need to get that back. Virgo, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back on love. For me, this is the energy of please do not give up on love. It was only a bad experience. It was a bad vibration. It was bad timing. I don't think fundamentally that people want to hurt each other. Um, but I do believe that we vibe with different um, vibrations and we meet not at the right time, you know. And we might force connections that are not meant to, to happen at that time. We have boundaries. I am self-respect and boundaries. Hell yeah. Probably this person kind of, um, you know, kind of endangered in some way your self-respect and your boundaries and your world and now it's time to put some boundaries back to uh, where they belong we have soulmates and yin and yang absolutely was a very important connection um soulmates right that was a bond it's a spiritual one body mind and soul and they completed you in some way maybe they were meant to whatever was um, it was good and it felt good but then self self-respect boundaries do not give up on love and manifestation i love this manifestation is something new right setting out the intents out into the world um seeing a different um you know uh, picturing yourself in a different environment doing different things so um yeah anyways now let's see the energies we need to get back into the flow and then we say goodbye till the next time. So Virgo, we have to stay friends with this person, but at least you are guided. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. For some of you, you are actually uh, kind of um, encouraged, right? To have a more social life, come out of isolation, have friends, have, um, you know, have them over. Well, with the physical distance, of course, but in a sense, we need to get that energy back into the flow to have friends go out, um, spend some meaningful time, some relaxing time, you know, with people and come out of isolation. We need spontaneity. Well, kind of difficult with the COVID, but still there are ways to be to be creative and um, 
And that is a message for you and it says you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. You have friendship and new situations. For some of you, it might be a friend in your environment. Um, you might be guided actually to manifest love, right? And see love. One of the, the only thing that is real is love, right? And manifest love. And now you have, you embrace new situations. So that is a clear message for some of you actually to be open to something new. We do have surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So, yeah. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to the spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. And bottom of the deck, we do have integrity. So we need to, to deal with the situation from a place of integrity. You demonstrate the truth and the honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action. So I know, right? I believe the judgment, judgment and integrity, right, uh, Virgo? If that is a message here, judgment and integrity, a decision with integrity, however this applies to you. We don't please people, we don't keep, uh, we don't stay in the devil energy and we come from a place of, of, of friendship, right? Of being open and, and kind and we let them go. We let them go. This person is not for you, you know? Um, and twice the energy of fire in your belly. For, for you, you have to make a decision. For some of you, you have to allow it, go look for it, that kind of energy. And um, Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.